Mr. Donovan, in case you haven't been made aware, we have a philosophical divide on this committee of some degree. Uh, many of my Republican colleagues believe that what is best for the country in the future is basically to cut, 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 cut Social Security, Medicaid, Medicaid, nutrition, et cetera, et cetera. Others of us don't think that that is what is best for working families in this country. So I want to mention something to you. Uh, my staff did some research, and what we found is that it turns out that major profitable corporation mm -hmm. after major profitable corporation not only paid zero in a given year in federal taxes, but in fact got rebates from the IRS. Just some examples. From 2008 through 2013, General Electric made nearly $34 billion in profits in the U.S. And what was its tax break? What was its tax burden? Zero. In fact, it received a tax refund of nearly $3 billion. Verizon, from that same period of time, made over $42 billion in the U.S. It received tax refunds of $732 million. In other words, they didn't pay any taxes. They actually got rebates. Now, I think the President's budget begins to address some of these issues. Can you talk to us, in your view, about whether or not it is appropriate that one large, major, profitable corporation after another pay zero in federal income taxes? Well, Senator, I think uh, we could all agree on a bipartisan basis that our current corporate tax code is uh, uh, more complicated than it needs to be, that it has a broad range of, of loopholes that it cr it create not just uh, unfairness uh, across companies, uh, but also, frankly, make our economy uh, less efficient uh, and hold back economic growth. And so uh, we do support, and the budget lays this out, uh, reform of our business tax system that would uh, not only make it more fair, uh, but in the long run would increase economic growth. And we would do that by closing a broad range of, of loopholes and actually lowering the basic rate from 35% down to, down to 28%. We think a particularly important piece of this is around international tax reform. The President's spoken out very clearly that the trend of inversions of companies you know, buying small companies overseas and uh, putting a domicile, relocating there, um, is a serious problem. This budget would not only close those loopholes uh, to try to stop to the maximum extent possible uh, companies moving overseas, it also creates more broadly an international tax system which uh, would really make more fair and level the playing field, bringing jobs back uh, to the U.S. Okay, thank you. 